Hi, this is Eat Sleep from the Techies here. And today, it's not really a tutorial as much as I'm going to be putting what I've taught you together and making an index for your site in PHP. So, I'm going to be basing this off a site that I made before the template I made. We're going to make a header here. We're going to make a navigation, a main, and I'm going to add another one here. It's going to be uh, for news. So, yeah. And it's going to be using include statements and a table. So, it's very simple and it's effective. So, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to open my WAMP and make a new text document. And I, I pasted this uh, tag here. It's for XHTML. And I put it here because it's easy if I want to embed some HTML or XHTML, I already have it here. So, you can just get that off the internet or something, or I'll tell me if you want and I'll email it to you. And we're going to start here by making just a title for the site. And I'm going to name it Test Site. Okay. And a body tag... And this is where we're going to make our table. This is the table for the entire site. This is where the whole thing sits in. And we want our table width to be 100%. Because we want it to take up the entire page. 100%. Okay. And the border is going to be zero. We don't want to see anything separating the tables. We just want it to be a clean, clean uh, table. So we set that to zero. Now, now inside of our table, um, we use tr for table rows and td for the the def defining each cell for the what what is in it. So we're going to start off with just a tr table row, and we want the id of this cell. So td id. We want it to be the header, the header part, which is, oops, I must have closed it. So just header. And I'm going to make a height and a column span. Well, I'll get to column span in a second. I want the height to be um, 90. It's a good, good size for a header. And the call, call span, C-O-L-S-P-A-N, is, it means how many columns does it take up. And since there's only going to be three columns in my, below the header, I want it to take up all of the columns. So it's going to be three. And there is our first defining tag in the table. Now, this is where we put a PHP include statement. So we don't have to type it in this notepad, we can outsource it. So, we do our PHP include tag, PHP and include, and I want it, I want to include it, I'm going to name the thing that I include header.inc.php. Okay. So there is our tag that we're going to outsource to, our header part. We'll just end that statement, semicolon, and end the PHP statement. Okay. Next, we're going to, well, first we have to do a TR statements so we can go to a different line. So just like that. And this one, um, do the same thing, TDID. I want this one to be um, nav, navigation. And I want the width, um, I like to use 15 to 20%. So I'm just going to use 15. No, I'll use 20. Okay, 20%. And I want this to be aligned at the top. So you do a val align statement, v align, vertical align. And it's going to be at the top, so just top. Uh, oops, I forgot my opening tag there. Okay, and now we go to another PHP include statement. We want P 
PHP include this one I'm going to name nav dot inc dot php and there is our navigation bar end it along with ending the php statement okay next is right in the middle is where our main is going to be so again uh, t table row stuff and uh, TDID, this is going to be named main, width, um, I'm going to put the width at 50%, yes, no, 55, I'll do 55, 55%. And I want it also to be aligned at the tops. <clears throat> okay, now another include statement, this time for main, so just do that. Dot inc. And, and it's going to be called news, name it news. So let's break that and all over again, same thing, but with news. With this time, let's see, we have 55 and 20, we got to make it 25% so it adds up to 100. Okay, and we also want this on the top. Okay. And more PHP include. PHP include is a very, very useful statement, or this would be a giant mess. You could still do it, it would just be a mess. Okay. And, and that, and, and that. Okay. And for our last part, very simple, we're just going to put a footer. Footer. Um, I want, I want this to cover the entire bottom, just like the header, so I'm going to do a call span, and it's going to be three. Okay, and um, the stuff that I have inside my footer, let's say copyright or uh, contact us, I want it to be in the center, so you do this div uh, align for the inside stuff, and I want it to be center. And then we do our PHP include right after that. Twitter.inc.php. And there it is. Oh, and uh, now that you've added a div tag, you have to do an ending div tag. So just end that and my td tag. And that is the final table row. So we'll just make another one just to make it look nicer. And our table is done, so we'll end the table. And we will also end the body tag and the HTML tag. And I'm going to save this as index.php. .php. Okay. So let's check this out in our browser. Okay, here, it looks like a giant mess of um, fails, but since we didn't make any uh, or include documents that we had it outsourced to, it just shows up as a bunch of errors. But this is the general, this is what it's supposed to look like.